Lines which are at angles are always given by an equation of the form y equals something x plus c. And as discussed in two early videos, this number here is always the gradient and this number is always the y-intercept. This allows us to find quite easily the equation of a line. So if we look at line 1, its y-intercept is where it cuts the y-axis. This is the y-axis. So line 1 has a y-intercept of 1, 2, 3, 4. So at line 1, it has a y-intercept of plus 4. But gradient, not difficult gradient. In these quite simple lines, if you can locate where the line passes through two corners, if we then observe for every one across how far up the line goes, which in this case is 3, this tells us the gradient. So it's got a y-intercept of 4 and a gradient of 3. So therefore line 1 has an equation of y equals gradient is 3, so 3x. Intercept is 4, so plus 4. That is its equation. Now line 2 we can do in a similar way. Now line 2 passes through the y-axis here at 1. So its intercept is 1. However, this time when the graph goes across 1, it now goes down 4. So its gradient is actually minus 4. So line 2 has an equation y equals gradient minus 4 x plus intercept of 1 so plus 1. We have therefore managed to find the equation of those two lines. I now want to discuss one extension idea for those who wish to push the higher grades. We can find where these two lines actually meet. Now we know the equations were y equals 3x plus 4 and y equals minus 4x plus 1. Now to find where these two lines intersect requires simultaneous equations. <laughs> 